Hey everybody, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, I'm just in camp at a minute. I feel, I feel like it's time to go and rescue Micah. Um, get him out of uh, prison. He's over here. Also uncover a little bit more of the map and whatever this town is here. So yeah, I think that's probably not a bad idea at all. Um, So yeah, camp stuff we'll have to wait for now. We're going to go and rescue Micah. Let's get the horse. Remember last time we went and... Uh, I guess Arthur's job is just basically to save everybody in the camp, isn't it? <laughs> he's like... Dutch is like the f um, father, you know. He's like the, the kind of father figure, but... He doesn't really go off and do anything, does he? He's he's the the wordsmith, you know, the the leader, but not necessarily by example. Though I guess he's handy in a fight, sure. But Arthur's the one who's kind of his right hand man. He does the dirty work, you know, which is what our job is, I guess. As we go around, it's just such a pleasure to ride through the countryside. It really is. Okay, something's going on up here. What's up with you? I got bit. Oh god. I need medicine. Suck out the venom. Come on, let's suck out the venom. <laughs> you saved my life. I owe you. You're damn right you owe you. I do. Now I, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, you're damn right you gotta get out of here. No! God! Don't much like it around here no more. I had a good help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? Saved a life. There you go. Good guy, Arthur. Can't greet this guy apparently. I think that's the guy who um, told us to sod off that time. Who let the simpleton out of the asylum? You need me to close that big mouth of yours? Yeah, you, you dope. If I start shooting, it's over for you. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. That's it. <laughs> Where is he? Can't be bothered burying you. God damn. Witnesses. Ah, Solomon. There's too many witnesses. There's actually a question mark there by that place as well. I'm not gonna stand for a guy shooting at me. I just got rid of my bounty, didn't I? <laughs> and there's a question mark up there as well. Interesting. What's that question mark about? Unavailable due to recent climbs. Return at a later date. Okay. Let's let the... Um, Thing run down. It's quite the view. Let's 
$7.50 for murder. Well, bargain. Maybe that question mark will come back now. Oh, do we... Is it because we got a bounty? Okay, well, we'll just head on to Micah then. We'll remember this little dot here. Can I... Okay, it kind of... I wonder if it does let us know. I just want to add a marker there. Yeah. Let me know it's there. It's my bad, but I mean, <laughs> that guy did, you know, did insult me, so he had to die. Oh god, I'm turning into Arthur Morgan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm literally role playing Arthur Morgan now. He's gonna be out in the streets and be like, What'd you say to me, boy? So it's like it's just nice, like riding around places and seeing and the little odd things that happen and all that kind of stuff. What was that? I heard gunshots. That's the um, post office. Should we just go pay our bounty off now? Because. Okay, apparently there's a train coming in. I did not like me doing that. Uh, $7, I'll pay that. If that's how much a murder costs, then it's a bargain. Uh, there we go. Thanks for your assistance. Killed a person. Oh, you have to pay seven dollars fifty. It's like, how many people did I kill to get one hundred and forty-five dollars? That's mental. Maybe it's because they were like the law themselves. <laughs> people don't take kindly to that sort of thing, do they? I don't think so. Oh, no, he killed another rabbit. Get my horse off. Oh, thank God. That animal is a goddamn menace. Where is he? You saved me, partner. Woo! I was almost a meal there. Thanks. Good luck to you. Watch out for yellow eyes. I will, friend. I will. I dropped his gun. Nice. Can we like skin the walls? Yeah, we can. Just hold on there, boy. 
Good dog. Nice wolf skin uh, pelt. Nice. Now there's a question, can we store more than one of these pelts on the horse? Let's skin two of them. <laughs> it's pretty gross. Ah, uh, it's real though. Wolf heart. Okay, looks like we can. That makes sense to me. And they're on top of each other. That is a detail beyond my expectation. Look, they're literally on top of each other on the back of the horse. That is, this game is like, I think this game got delayed for a year and I mean, judging by how good it is, that seems like a great decision. I wonder if, I wonder why it was delayed for a year, what was the, um, was it because they wanted to add more content to the game, was it because they wanted to do the little fine details, like things like that, was it just simply like optimization stuff, I mean a year is a long delay, a year says to me like they really weren't happy with what they had at that point and they wanted to do better and just decided to delay it for a year. So it could be a combination of all those things, uh, perhaps, but... Okay, where's this? Strawberry. Welcome to Strawberry. Are there strawberries here? Wanna buy some pelts? Any chance? Or some meat? Oh, you will receive a discount at this shop because of your high honour. Oh, okay, wait until morning. That's nice that that's an option there. Like, normally it's like, oh, you have to go somewhere and find something to wait. So I kind of like... In some ways, you think like, oh, there's these type, kind of things which make you, you waste a bit. Ah. To sell the pelt store in the back of your horse, take your horse close to the butcher store and focus on the butcher and hold left. Watch this my horse. What are you doing up there? Come here. You're such a disobedient horse, aren't you? Um Bob. Deed. Come on. This way. Come on. Come on, or I'm gonna sell your pelt. Yeah, that's right. Horse. I won't, don't worry. I love you, horse. <laughs> uh okay. Butcher. Sell. Okay. Hey, you do this? Oh wow. Uh, One dollar thirty-two. You want better pay? Do a better job. Uh, we we'll sell them. Wolf hearts can be sold. Okay. Lucky this is Stringy meat. There we go. Uh, how many provisions have we got? We've got quite a lot of provisions, to be fair. Sorted venison, yeah. We'll, we'll, yeah, we. Is that what he's got to buy? Cheers, Bob. Oh, sorry, my horse is Bob. You're not Bob. <laughs> well, thank you, Bob, for being a thoroughly good horse. And I regret what I said about selling your pelt, even though you don't tend to come along when I ask you to. Hey there, buddy. Oh, we can hitch you up here. This is a cute little town, isn't it? There's the jail. Oh, like the wet clothes physics here? Or the look of the wet clothes? They look nice. Let's go back and get a newspaper. That's uh, the post office in there.
Looks like we got a hotel. Oh, there's a cat. Hey, cat. Hey, cat. There, Let's study it. You can't pet the cat, though. American domestic cat. That was. Yeah. It's nice. <laughs> Alright, let's go see a man about uh, another man in prison. Where did I put my carbine? Ah, hang on. horse weapons. There we go. Just in case, you never know. <laughs> you never know. And that looks like the hangman's noose up there. Yep. Blessed are the Hello, meek. Sir. I've, uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang. Tom O'Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. You don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. Got in a fight, two men got killed. Now one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mix, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Okay, the Sheriff ain't gonna work with us. Okay. Let me out of here, you maggot! Okay, and speak to Micah. You down there? This looks like there's somebody in there. Luster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silent. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <laughs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Got any dynamite? Um, do I have any dynamite? I do have some dynamite. But we really. Oh my god, am I really gonna do this? Uh, how do I drop it? Okay. Come on, Micah. Let's go. Holy boy. Oh. Should be long gone by now. Hey, God, 
throat shot. Guess I'm not coming back to Strawberry anytime soon. Feel cool doing that. Oh god. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Mike, you're saving your life here, buddy. Yeah, I do want to get out of here, you idiot. Almost tripped on the body. Horse, come on. Have I got now? I gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Got a bit wild, all right. Wow, making a house call in the middle of all that ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah, we ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how goddamn Andy he was gonna let me have Sorry guys, didn't realise my phone was on. <laughs> okay, one sec. I'm Whoops. starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, it will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, here's the what's going on. Oh my god, it's a thunderstorm. Someone That was a pretty cool shootout, even if, uh... I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. <laughs> Liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. 
Why you act all sour all the yeah, time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court just God, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. Sometimes brothers make mistakes. Now I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. <sighs> God damn you, Micah. God damn you. All right. Hmm, okay. You now own the offhand holster. It allows you to carry two sidearms at once and you'll wield them. Oh my god. That was worth it. Oh, that was so worth it. I can dual wield pistols. I've got two pistols. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've got to try this out. Um. Oh my god. What have I got? A sawn off, a sawn -off shotgun and the, pi and the pistol. Okay. Oh my god. This... I'm sorry, I'm getting excited. <laughs> uh, yes. Additional lawmen are patrolling while our town is locked down and you will become wanted again if you're spoiled before clearing the bounty. How much is the bounty? $85. I've had worse, but uh, maybe we won't return there for a little bit, right? Right. Uh, maybe we'll go back. Should we go here or should we go see... Yeah, let's go back here and just see if that is back up. Okay, boy. So I wanted you to wield two pistols, which are the same, because that is bad. Oh my god! Imagine you wielding two of the shotguns. Oh yeah. Okay, how do I get across this river again? We can cross it here. We can cross it here, can't we? Yes, yeah, path this way. Ooh, moly. We are now a badass gunslinger. Yeah, this looks crossable, I think. This looks like that hurts my um, horse's stamina going through the water like that. Also, we should give him a feed when we can because his um, uh, his core heart is a little bit low. Yeah, so there's a question mark up there, so that's cool. I don't know if it's going to be locked, but we'll go up there and have a look. There's always a problem. Right. I ain't got time for No, well, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had... Many women. <laughs> Good for I you. I spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Well, good for you. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, see ya. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. 
Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? <laughs> well, different circles, uh, buddy. They different circles. In this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes. Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of ten dollars. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. <laughs> Could just rob it, couldn't I? Ah, oh, sod it. What the hell? Why not? I can a do ten dollars. I wish you the best of luck. Okay. Jack Hall gang treasure. You just go over the treasure map over in Satchel. Look at the map. Solve the clues to find the treasure location. Uh, okay. No idea where that is. Go see heavier. You've unlocked new reinforced equipment at the trapper. There's a guy over there. Ooh, Philip. Need to find somewhere safe to go down here, maybe. Yes, here. No, no, no. Horse, 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 horse. Okay. Where's he gone? Yep. Ah, there it is. Come on. Get a reward. He's dead. Can we? Can we just steal this? Nice outfit, bro. Oh, I was in a Driscoll. Guns clean. Uh. <laughs> so good. Okay. I want to know if I can, um, Is that it? So we can sell it. Oh, we can sell it. Oh, 
awesome. We didn't even have to steal it. Okay, we're going back to Emerald. Emerald Ranch here. Yeah. Quite a trick. I'm intrigued to know how much we, we can actually get for. Okay. Bat, 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 bat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Horse, follow. I think it's pretty sweet that we just managed to get a free stagecoach. So I imagine this is definitely going to be like one of the things that um, you have to do in uh, like, oh shit, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, oh don't you dare shoot me, oh one of my horses died, <laughs> shit, <laughs> okay. Okay, my bad. Um, yeah, no, I absolutely 100% think that this will be one of the things that you have to do in uh, GTA, uh, GTA, RDR online. Because um, obviously it's one of the things you do in GTA, although to be fair, you don't do it that much. You do it every now and then, I guess, to get a bit of cash, but you don't really get like a lot of money for it in GTA, do you? Usually, if you get one of the real good cars, you can get about 9,000, I think, but otherwise you get... Uh, out of my way, guys. I love the way the guy shot my horse. What a bastard. Um, yeah, otherwise you get like a few thousand, don't you? Which in Grand Theft Auto is obviously like nothing, really. But it's a good source of income, especially if you're like a new player, and it's relatively easy uh, to do. It's just that you can't kind of spam it. It takes a while to um, takes a while to actually uh, reset or I don't know re whatever. Um, but I imagine like. I was looking through the trophies and um, it does look like there's going to be quests and things like that for you to do I'd imagine I imagine there'll be like heists because you know I kind of said before that the GTA online heists were without doubt like probably one of my favorite multiplayer experiences ever um, they were they were incredible and I, I can completely understand why they had to kind of stop doing them because I think firstly I think they were they thought we're using up some ideas here for GT uh, for Red Dead Redemption because this is kind of a bit more about heist in my opinion than Grand Theft Auto Online. That was um, well, yes, you are I guess a career criminal in that as well. Um, you know, it was a little bit different. That there were other things you can do. There was more stuff to do, I guess. And uh, obviously, I guess the time factor. They probably wanted to make this game and have more people working on this than they did on, um, you know, heist for, for GTA Online. Um, and I mean, I think I did, what, five or six in the end? Which is not bad, considering they were... Horse, come on. Considering they were, like, given out for free. So... You know, obviously, I'm going to play Red Dead Redemption Online. Gonna check it out, see how it plays. I'm excited for Fallout 76 um, as well um, because I love that kind of universe. I've really liked Fallout 4. I know. Oh, well, actually, I wouldn't say I'm in a minority. I think there's a vocal minority who really disliked Fallout 4, and that's fine. There will be a, a vocal minority who dislike this game. It's almost as if sometimes some people. Find that they get more views from disliking something than from actually saying that something's good. But anyway, I do also believe that they're, you know, horses for courses, excuse the pun, and um, that, uh, you know, sometimes people will just not, you know, click with a game. I saw that um, Greg Miller, if you know who he is, used to work for IGN. Um, Now has his own kind of business. He said, like, it just the game did not click with him, which is fine. Like, he he was a big fan of Odyssey, and I can kind of see the gameplay differences between the two. And if you really, really liked Odyssey, I mean, I really like Odyssey though. To be fair, how much are you gonna give me, buddy? How much does he give me? 
How much did he give me? Twenty-five dollars. Doesn't seem like that's a very good amount of money. <laughs> but anyway. Come on. Let's go see Javier. This is gorgeous, this weather. This is some of the best weather I think I've seen in a video game. Not because it's like over the top, just because every now and then you just get something like this and it just changes the way everything looks, you know. It's not it's not going for like um oh, what's going on over there? Oh no, no. Missed it. Uh, we want to go see Javier, don't we? What's that place? It's a stable. Okay. Can we go along this road, though? That's not really a road, is it? Can we go along there? Yeah, there we go. I want to kind of go somewhere I haven't been before. Might take a little bit longer, but that's okay. But, um... Yeah, as I said, I'm looking forward to um, Fallout 76. I don't expect it to be mind-blowing or anything like that. I expect it to be like a good, solid online thing, but it's got what I love, which is exploration, discovery, a bit of building, a bit of looting, that kind of stuff, and being able to do that with friends um, and randoms, I guess. Uh, I'm really looking forward to, you know, and I, I never go into a game like that trying to be like... Uh, I. I dislike trying to rush games. That's why I'm certainly not rushing this game in any way. But I like to take my time and then just enjoy the journey because that's what video games are about in my opinion, not necessarily about I need to be the highest level, I need to have the best gear. Um, and, you know, whatever, again, floats your boat. Some people, that's what they love doing. They love get oh, nearly. They love getting to that high level I guess as quickly as possible and being you know the high level player compared to other people and stuff like that but I don't know I don't have that ego maybe I don't know but um, I just enjoy the journey and uh, so that's what I'll be looking to do in Fallout 76 be looking to make myself a nice little base get myself some nice little gear have a little discovery try and find some interesting quests and lore and just have a good time in that basically same with Red Dead Online just you know I hope, I know Fallout 76 they've talked about dedicated servers, but I hope one day if we get like a PC version of Red Dead Redemption with online, that would be a thing. Because it'd be cool to have a proper roleplay kind of server, you know. I think this game would be 1 million percent right for it. Um, and of course you're not going to get that on a public server, are you? <laughs> so, like, yeah, never going to happen on a public server, so... I guess on the uh, online you're not going to get um, the dead eye either. You know they've talked about in Fallout 76 they're doing something different with bats. I imagine they can't do that in the same way GTA Online didn't have the kind of abilities that like Franklin had to like slow time with his car and stuff like that. Um, it's nice around here. I wonder if we get to go into Mexico again. That's mountains though. It's scary how good this looks. Oh, we've seen some graphically like amazing games this year, you know. I think starting the year off with Far Cry 5, which obviously looked really great and like this big kind of world. Um, what? Oh, don't you? Hey, you. Please. You gotta get me out of here. Let me out of here. I got a wife and kids. Shut up. Get out of here. 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 Nah, don't think so. Let me out! Shoot the lock! 
You might want to stand back, buddy. Oh, now I have to kill you. I did the lock. Am I glad you showed up when you did? I don't have no money to give. Is this some kind of sick joke? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hey, come back. Come back. Nah. Oops. Don't point your gun at people. Anyway, we saved him. Maybe these guys will have some nice loot. 75% stamina to level 3. Cool. We will have something interesting to loot. What's his gun? Okay, that lost us honour, but we're an outlaw. We should probably save other outlaws, unless he's an Adriscal. He wasn't an Adriscal, though. Look at this view. This game's crazy, man. Okay, All right, so there's something there that we want to go and head towards Javier. Riding with the horses. What the blazes? Actually, you know, we might just stop off here because I might do that. Um, probably going to do a stream after this episode, so I might do that little uh, thing over there while I stream. But um, let's go over here and get a nice view while we finish. That's a view. It's pretty good. We didn't get a bounty in the end, did we? Because we shot the witness. Yeah. Okay. Good. So I think around there. No, I don't want to place a waypoint, but I want to place a marker. I want to remove that marker. There we go, because we've done that one. Cool. Okay. And we're slowly but surely going to. Um, mark things off so i think i'll do a few of these on on stream uh these question marks and i might even go and do black bell see what happens when we try and do that it's not too far away now we've kind of unlocked a bit more of the map but thank you for watching guys it's been my pleasure as always and i'll see